over traffic. So, okay, the, uh, we have uh, Messrs. Intagliata and Sheridan present. This is Eddie Roth uh, for the Charter Commission staff. It appears that we have uh, Nancy Walsh uh, of the Law Department and the Commission staff attending, but no general members of the public. Okay, great. Um, and like I was saying just before we, we got started, this is my first time joining Working Group 2 from the transition from Working Group 1. Um, and so, Scott, I'll really lean on you because I know that you and the other commissioners have done a lot of work already leading up to this this point. Great. Yeah, the uh, Thank you, Travis. And the you were... Um... Uh, you were there when we discussed at length our thoughts about elections, which Correct. was probably the largest. And then um, uh, we also, Anna Crossland, Commissioner Crossland also had brought comments primarily that we had received from others and discussed relating to the board of aldermen. Mm -hmm. And so I think all, all told we have half a dozen items that we think could be drafted into um, amendments, at least to begin to put together for our January meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, so perhaps our second Tuesday meeting in January, we can ask uh, Commissioner Riley to come up with that and the three of us can brainstorm as many we feel comfortable with presenting or at least giving to the chair for the yeah. 23rd. Yeah. Okay. That's sounds that sounds good. Uh, and we, sh uh, on that Tuesday meeting, um, in January, we should have some alders present. Is that correct? Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. And, and if, in, informally, and I'll, I'll talk to Anthony or send him a note. Let's mm -hmm. just plan on going a little longer after the alders are done. Yeah. So that we can kind of get our act together in terms of what we're going to talk about, if we want to talk about anything on the 23rd. I think we should be ready to talk about, I mean, uh, again, this working group prior to me joining, it has put a lot of, uh, you know, uh, pen to paper or fingers to keyboard uh, and thought brain power on this. So I think it'd be great to get these ideas in front of the public at the 23rd meeting. Well, and so, and we've talked about this a bit the, the four articles that we haven't discussed publicly, if you don't mind, I'd like to kind sure. of talk to you about them. Okay. The first one being the initiative process in Article 5. Um, the, and we'll, we'll, we'll reach out to the chairs of the Board of Election Commissioners to see how many initiatives have been put on the ballot and mm -hmm. by who, but uh, the route and process and what is required almost guarantees that only well-funded, well-heeled people will ever be able to get an initiative on the ballot. So, and uh, the, uh, to get five or 10% of the registered voters in the city at between five and 15 bucks, no matter how good your volunteer group is, is mm -hmm. almost impossible. And it's also extremely convoluted and difficult to do. So, you know, perhaps that's something we can look at. And then um, the only thing that's attractive about the initiative process as it's written now Mm -hmm. is the referendum process is twice as odious and uh -huh. nobody remembers and we will ask the board of elections nobody remembers a referenda to vote or reconsider a board of aldermen and mayor approved initiative in in their lifetime so really and, yeah i i can't i can't recall one travis Mm -hmm. But we're going to ask the Board of Election to do that for us. But the process okay. is so difficult and so narrow and hard. It's they don't want anybody to do it. Sure. So, okay. Yeah. And then um, the Board of Public Service in Article 13, 
I mm-hmm. think given your background in management, um, particular larger organizations, yeah, it would really be interesting to get your views on that because why do we have it? Should one group oversee those disparate departments? And should they just be separate departments in city government overseen by somebody else? I don't know. Yeah. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll read through that and I'll have some thoughts when we get together again on, um, on that, on our first meeting in January. Great. And then the final one is the licenses taxes, which is a very short description saying the city can levy taxes on any of these items, many of which we don't have anymore, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. Um, But the other thing is it'll be interesting to get from the license collector of these hundreds and hundreds of items, what do we license and oversee? Because you would need an enormous bureaucracy to oversee it or license it. Do we have a liability and are we missing the opportunity to create revenue and oversight of some important things? Yeah. Which uh, which article is that one? That is 20. 20, okay, thanks. Yeah. Like one of there the one of the things that caught my eye was osteopaths. I have no idea if we license them, if we're, you know competent to license them and how yeah and, you know it I, so i don't know the but literally there's probably four or five hundred items that we could license and tax yeah and, yeah well this list is ex- this list is exhaustive yeah exactly and you know again is it a revenue opportunity or are we just you know, wasting our time or do have we created a liability? Right. You know? Right. If we don't have the, uh, the subject matter expertise to be signing off on these things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or oversight. Or oversight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So with those were the final, uh, four areas, initiatives, referenda, Board of Public Service, which again, I think your particular skill set would taking a look at that. I mean, we yeah. have a division of health and hospitals. Yeah. What does yeah, I don't know. Is that is that something that the Board of Public Service, who's a engineer, should oversee? I'm not mm-hmm. sure. Okay. Yeah. So. Great. I'll take a look at those. Good. And then um I'll send a note to us all through our G- our city Gmail, just saying, uh-huh. you know, at our next meeting, let's let's all talk about if we want to present at that January twenty third, or at least give to the chair in advance. Here's some things right. we'd like considered. So. Okay, that sounds good. All right, great, good. Well, I, I don't yeah. think we're seeing other folks on here. So, all right, should we uh should we adjourn then? I think uh, uh, I am happy to. If you are happy, okay. To. Yeah, right. we'll have a wonderful new year, and we'll uh, we'll talk in the early year. Same to you, Travis. Take thank care. you, Eddie. Thank you very much thank for you, having Eddie. us on. Thank you, gentlemen. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. Bye bye.